Well, sales are down from last month here in Airdrie and new listings are down as well. Does this mean that our hot run here in Airdrie and Alberta is done for the year? Well, let's dive into it and find out. Hey there, my name is Brad Walker. I'm a realtor with Real Broker here in Airdrie, Alberta, and I'm here today with your Airdrie, Alberta real estate market update for May 2022. Now before we get going here, if you could do me a favor and scroll down and hit that like button up, it really helps me get this video in front of other people in Airdrie who might want to see this market update. So if you could do that real quick for me and then we're going to get going. Well, it was definitely an interesting month in April here in Airdrie. At some points feeling like we were really cooling off. At other points, it felt just as hot as February and March did. So now that we're at the end of the month, at the start of May, we have the numbers from April. So that's what we're going to take a look at now. All right, well, our new listings were way down in April. From 479 new listings in March, we saw just 334 new listings here in April, and sales were down as well from March, just over 10%, but we were still up year over year in sales by 23% over April 2021, so our sales are still quite up there for sure. Our end of month inventory was pretty close to last month, but down just slightly from 262 homes for sale to start April, down to 247 homes to start May now this month. You'll also see on this graphic here that our average days on market is up from 13 days last month to 16 days this month. And then there's our benchmark price, which though it is up 1% month to month, it held really steady at 29.3% year over year. All right, well now we know the basic numbers for April. Let's dive into some of these numbers a little bit more in depth. Now let's start with those new listing numbers because there was such a difference from our March new listings to our April new listings and such a big decline month to month. What could that possibly mean? Well, I think what we saw in March is we saw a lot of sellers jumping on the bandwagon of the hot market. Maybe these were sellers who couldn't sell a couple of years ago or maybe they just knew the new price that they could sell for and they just wanted to jump in and get their home sold. We saw a ton of that in March. So all these people flooded the market with new listings. And then in April, it seemed like we were back to kind of the normal seasonal sellers versus the conversations that I was in in March was, hey, what can I sell for? Oh, wow, I can sell for that. Let's list tomorrow. Versus in April, these were people that I was talking to for a while. They had planned on selling. So I think what we saw in April was we got a big bump in March, came back down to seasonal averages, and we're probably now just gonna see more and more of those sellers who had already planned to sell at the time that they're listing. Well now, as for our sales number, we had 321 sales in April, and that is down a bit from our March sales. Now, typically March to April, we're gonna see an increase in sales as we get deeper into the spring market, getting closer to summer when people want those summer possessions. But one thing that you should know is that we did see a slight decrease, but 321 sales is still our second all time sales month in Airdrie just next to March. So we are still seeing a crazy amount of buyer demand. There's a lot of buyers buying homes in the market. So I'm not too worried about that decrease in sales quite yet, but we are going to keep an eye on it month to month as we get closer to the summer. Now, when we're talking about new listings and sales, we also need to touch on inventory, which didn't see a huge change from March to April. It did go down just slightly, but what we can kind of take from that is we saw that huge rush in March. It cooled off for listings in April, but we still saw that demand. So if our listings cool off and our buyer demand stays roughly the same or very close to that, then we're gonna see that inventory continue to decrease as we get closer to the summer, which could mean that April kind of felt like a slow month to us here in Airdrie, but things could pick back up through May and June if these numbers continue to play out like they are. Now, even though April felt a bit slower in the market, a little bit less craziness in the market, you still have to keep in mind that we're still only working with about 0.77 months of inventory in the city, which keeps us very firmly in a seller's market. And until that number gets up to, you know, that 1.5 months of supply range, we can expect our prices to keep going up and up and up. Now, probably not at the trajectory that we saw in February and March, where we saw, you know, 10% in one month, but until we get to those supply numbers in the market, we likely will see an increase of price as we get closer to summer. 
All right, well, talking about pricing now here in Airdrie, let's get into some of the pricing that we saw in April. So our detached homes are up about 1% from last month and up about 32.6% year over year. Our semi-detached homes or our duplex homes are also up about 1% from last month and they're up 31.8% year over year. Now our row homes are up nearly 5% in the last month and now up 16.1% year over year and apartment style condos are continuing to truck along up about 2.5% in the last month and now up 11.5% year over year. So what you can see from that is that earlier in the year you saw our semi-detached and detached markets absolutely explode in prices whereas the row homes and especially the condos really lagged behind and weren't seeing a lot of price increases. So the best explanation that I can provide for this trend change that we're seeing now is that these semi-detached and detached homes have risen up to a point where some buyers are needing to reevaluate their plans and maybe move down to looking at townhouses or looking at condos as an option as compared to detached homes. So we're seeing some of that demand shift from the detached to semi-detached down into the townhomes and condos and that's why we're seeing those as our biggest movers in the market right now. All right, well now for a little bit of mortgage news, pretty quick and simple this month, rates are still going up, whether you're looking at variable or fixed, they're both on their way up right now. For a five year fixed right now, you're looking at about 4% for that interest rate. And for the variable now, they're back up to around the 2% mark. So they've both gone up quite a bit in just the last month. And I do have quite a few people ask me right now if these interest rates are going to affect the market. And it's a big headline thing that we're seeing in the news a lot is how the interest rates are gonna slow down the market, things like that. Now, if you ask if the interest rates are going to affect certain parts the market? Absolutely, I think they will. But if you ask me if they're gonna affect the sales in our market overall, I'm not so sure they're going to. And let me explain a little bit why I answer that way. So if we look at our interest rates, let's say we take our five-year fixed 4% or so rate right now. If we look at it from a historical standpoint, it's still quite low. So we're still getting quite low rates. And any savvy buyer out there who knows the history of mortgage rates is going to know that if they want to hang out and wait for a rate down around two or two and a half percent again, they might be waiting for a very long time. And if they do that, who knows what the prices are gonna be like at that point. So I haven't really run into anybody who sees the interest rates and says, hey, whoa, no, I'm not buying anymore. I'm gonna hold off. What I do see quite a bit though is the interest rates go up and now buyers adjust their plans. So now instead of looking at that big detached home, they've adjusted their plan a little bit to look at maybe smaller homes or maybe townhomes or condos. So they're not pulling right out of the market because they still wanna be in the real estate market. They don't wanna hang out on the sidelines too long, but they're just adjusting what they are gonna buy. So is it gonna affect certain parts of our market? Absolutely it will. And you can even start to see that in our pricing of those townhouses and condos, but it's going to affect our overall market I don't think it's going to, not at these rates, maybe when they get a bit higher, but not at the moment. Well, we're in May now, so what are my predictions for summer 2022 with real estate here in Airdrie? Well, based on the numbers that we're seeing right now with our new listings coming down quite a bit and our sales and buyer demand staying very strong. I think what we're going to see is our inventory come down a bit through May, which might create another push going into the summer. So be prepared for that. We were able to catch our breath here in April with all of those new listings that came on in March, but I don't think that's going to last a whole lot longer. So be prepared for those listings to keep coming down or the inventory to keep coming down but that buyer demand to stay fairly strong, which will create, again, another pretty aggressive seller's market. I think that's probably what we're gonna see. Now, I don't have a crystal ball. No one can predict exactly what's gonna happen, but just based on the numbers I'm seeing, that's the way it looks like it's going right at this moment. And if we look at just here a few days into May already, our inventory is down even a bit more than it was to start the month, so it's looking like it's kinda going that way. Now, if you are here in Airdrie and you do want to receive a monthly market report to your email that includes all that sales data on there so you can see what your neighbor sold for last month, there's a link down below in the description. Fill out what neighborhoods you want that report for and I'd be more than happy to send that off to you. It's a once a month report so you can see all that data just for your specific neighborhood in Airdrie. If you're also wanting a home evaluation to see what your home is worth in this current market, whether you're selling or not, there's a link in the description below as well. Click that, fill it out, and be more than happy to do that free evaluation 
for you or for any other reason you want to just chat about real estate whether you're buying selling or just want to talk real estate a bit all of my contact information is down below feel free to call text or email and i'll be more than happy to chat with anyone about real estate here in our city again my name is brad walker with real broker and we'll see you next time